Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me With Me. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about avoiding some dating pitfalls. So stay tuned. Alright fam, thanks so much for coming back. So, avoiding the dating pitfalls. I have several tips for you guys, so let's go ahead and jump in. Alright, the very first thing I want to talk to you guys about dating and avoiding the dating pitfalls is that when you go into the actual dating experience, your dating journey, do not go into the actual dates or on the actual dates thinking that it will not work out. And specifically when it moves forward, that the relationship itself will not work out because you will get what you think about most of the time. So if most of the time your mindset is, I'm going to go out on this date, I'm going to get into this relationship, but guess what? I know it's not going to work out because the last two, three, four, five did not work out, or it was months in between each one, but I'll go out there and do it. More than likely, guess what, sis? Guess what, bro? That relationship or dating experience will be horrible, eventually not working out. The very thing that you thought was going to happen, guess what? It did happen. So, don't go on any date or into any relationship thinking that it will already end. Let it play out the way that it's going to play out. You'll get better results that way. Another dating pitfall that we get into is that we don't want to date until. Until I buy that house, until I get that career, until I lose some weight, until the kids leave, until, until, until. And then we wonder why years have passed and we still have not had a date in years one year, two years, three years, four years, because we try to get all our ducks in a row. We trying to make everything perfect. Sis, don't work that way. Bruh, don't work that way. It usually does not work that way. While you are on your life journey and trying to get that career, trying to lose that weight, trying to purchase that house, trying to reach whatever goal you're trying to attain, then your partner somewhere sliding in on your life journey. So everything is not going to be perfect. It's not going to work out the way that you want it to work out. Literally, sis, literally, bro, especially if you're new to my channel, I just keep it all the way real here because I feel like that's the only way we will learn from each other. And um, when me and my now husband, when we first got together, we went through the whole dating phase and the getting to know we was always on the phone and um, we, we seen each other several times a week, et cetera, et cetera, right? So I'm feeling like we're knowing each other. And then we decided to solidify the relationship, become exclusive. Guess what? On our first time of having sex, we got pregnant. So yes, my little daughter, or I should say our daughter, <laughs> she came or was conceived our very first time of having sex. Now, I have to just let you guys know that that was not in the plans for either one of us. Literally during our course of leading up into making the relationship exclusive, we had a talk and we were like, no, we don't want to get pregnant. I want to have more children or a child when we get married and, and not us. Not him and I. That was the conversation. When we get married, as in whoever he gets married to, whoever I get married to, that's when we want to have children. But life had other plans. And I have to say, because I am an older woman, more mature woman, okay? 35 plus. Okay, if you don't know, I'm actually in my 40s. Anywho, <laughs> I had my baby later on in life. And of course, I was proud and happy that now I finally get to become a vessel to carry my own baby that God has blessed me with. But I was also kind of ashamed to like, dang, I'm part of that damn statistic. I'm part of the damn statistic. And I didn't want that. But I also, I'm not a person that believes in abortion. So we was doing the do. <laughs> uh, unprotected. Not on birth control. You know, there was a lot of things that had to align for this day to happen. And Best thing that's ever happened to me, obviously, like I said, we got married, so it worked out, but that wasn't in the plan, okay? That was not in the plan, sis. That wasn't in the plan, bruh. <laughs> so 
So I didn't want to wait until I had everything aligned up. That's how life do to you. It send you some curveballs when you're not ready. But I'm so happy that it happened the way that it did. She just had her second birthday. That's the way life works out. Anyway, get back to the list. The third thing as far as avoiding the dating pitfalls is that most people want to be on the date. They want to get in the relationship. They want to get engaged and then they want to marry. And everybody hates the process. Everybody hates the process. No, that's you hear this all the time. I, I'm sick and tired of dating. It's not going to work out. I've been out on one or two dates in X amount of months. Or, you know, the date, the guys that keep coming to me, they don't want to date. They don't want a relationship. Or the girls, what, whatever the excuse is in there. We all want the product. Nobody wants the process to get to it. It's long. But it is a process. But just like anything that's worth having, it's worth working toward and fighting to get. It's a process. That's the way that it works out. That's the only way that it works out. Think about whenever you're trying to get your degree. Let's go with that. You're trying to get your degree. You had to go to school for how many years before you got that four-year degree? Yeah, four. And, and for me, it actually took me like seven or eight to get my four-year degree. It took me a few years to get my master's. There is a process. Relationships are no different. There is a process. There's a buildup. There is a making sure that the person is good for you. Let me see how angry you are when you get angry. Do you punch holes in the wall? Are you punching me in the face? Are you choking me? It's a process. Maybe you don't want any more children, but I do. It's a process. Maybe you're thinking that, you know, I'm just going to meet the person. We're going to get married tomorrow. Usually those relationships usually don't work out. Does it happen? It does happen. But those usually don't work out because they know nothing about one another. Enjoy the process. Keep an open mind. Stay positive. It can and will happen for you. The next thing that we do and that we need to avoid when we're dating is that you only think about, especially nowadays, is either meeting them in person or online. And meeting them in person, obviously, you're going to have to meet them in person at some point. But those are not the only two ways to meet somebody. And what I mean by that is we think that we have to go out to, like, say, an event and meet somebody. Or that we have to be online dating to meet somebody. And that's not always the truth. You can meet somebody through somebody. You can meet somebody at the gas station. You can I know we say this a lot as far as the grocery store, but it does still happen. It might not happen as often, but it does still happen. What I do have to say about that is that you have to change up your routine because most of us have this routine where we go to work and then we take the same route to work, the same route from home, the same gas station, the same food place. Change up your route a little bit. Do the things that you need to do, but change up your route. You don't have to always go the same way to work or the same way to get gas, the same way to get food, etc. Just change up your route. Change up your route. The fifth thing that we need to avoid, the dating pitfall that we need to avoid, is to stop looking for the perfect person because none of us are perfect. And even though we, we know it, we know it, right? But still, when we're on the journey and in the dating stages, guess what? We're still looking for the perfect person. We want their nose to be perfect, their skin to be perfect, the hair to be perfect, the shoes to be perfect, the outfit to be perfect, the job to be perfect, the bank account to be perfect, the car, the house. We want everything to be perfect. That is not the way it happens. It is a process. It is a journey. And you really want to take the journey with somebody else. Now, if it doesn't happen that way, right, you don't stop living. You don't stop living if it doesn't happen that way. But that's what we're looking for. But it, again, it's the process. It's the journey. We don't like it. Takes a lot of time. Takes a lot of energy. We can focus on other things, which is what a lot of people do, which I move into that point. A lot of people, and, and, and the, the thing that you could do to avoid this dating pitfall is to only focus on your thing, which is your career or chasing that paper or you know what? I'm not trying to get attached to nobody, so I'm going to chase them skirts. Whatever that is, that is a dating pitfall as well because 
you don't like the process, but you still want the benefits of what the process could have brought you. But now you're trying to take it from this person and take it from that person and take it from this person. Or I'm shutting out everybody and I'm staying in my own little box because I'm chasing after that paper right now. The next dating thing that you need to get away from as far as the pitfalls go is that stop thinking that there is something wrong with you. That you cannot get a date for whatever reason. Could be your body language. You could be sitting over there with resting bitch face. And ain't nobody coming up to no resting bitch face, okay? Smile a little bit. It could be a lot of things that's going on. Maybe you don't know. Maybe you got a body odor. Maybe not, that's why nobody like you. Maybe you got halitosis. Maybe that's why nobody talking to you. <laughs> Woo, halitosis, hunt to get that taken care of. Get that, go to the dentist. Stop it. <laughs> but seriously, there are so many other reasons why the guy doesn't want to talk to you or the girl doesn't want to talk to you. Maybe you seriously need to think about working on yourself, getting everything cleared up, getting rid of your baggage, building up your confidence, building up your self esteem, knowing that you are enough. Maybe you don't know none of that. And so all the energy that you are shooting out into the world just stinks. And maybe you don't know a stink. Maybe nobody's ever told you that it stinks. But there is a reason why you are not being approached and why you are not getting dates. There's absolutely a reason. And a lot of times we don't realize that we are the reason. We want to point the finger at everybody else and we don't want to take responsibility for who we are and who we are showing up to be while we are out in the world. Change your energy. Stop thinking that it's not going to happen for you. It will. If you open up your heart and open up your mind and start thinking that it will happen for you. It will happen for you. The next dating pitfall that we get into is that when we actually do meet this new person, we drop all our friends, all our family, and all of our hobbies to be around this person day, midday, and night. Don't do it. That's a dating pitfall for sure. Anytime you give your super, super all, you give it all of your time, and you give it all of your energy to this person, at some point, especially because it's so early on and if you didn't go through the process, like I've been talking about, you didn't go through the journey with them, it becomes too much. And the other person can get scared off real quick. Real quick. Because it's all coming at them full force or all coming at her full force. And yeah, you said that this is what you want, but then this is coming too much. It's coming too much all at one time. It wasn't a gradual process. It went from zero to 60. Zero to a hundred real quick. <laughs> Slow down. That is a super dating pitfall that so many people fall into doing. You're throwing away all of your friends, all of your hobbies, all of your family. And then when you get into this relationship and things are not going well, guess who you try to go back to? Your friends and family. And a lot of times they shun you. And then you end up alone. So still make time for your friends, still make time for your family and absolutely make time for your hobbies because I hear so many people, I'm actually in a, a Facebook group with um, wives and guess what? Uh, so many women on there say all the time that they have lost themselves in their relationship because they stopped doing the things that they like. And... It's not that they hate their life, but they definitely want something more out of their life every single day instead of just being a mom, instead of just being a wife. They stopped all of their fun because they got into this relationship and you don't have to do that. So if you're doing that now, stop doing that. Go call one of your friends. Go call one of your family members or do one of the hobbies that made you feel happy, that made you feel secure, that made you feel confident, that helped you keep your self-esteem up. So when somebody say, what do you like to do? You're not talking about your kids or running your kids here from there or talking about how you need to take care of your husband or, you know, being there for your family. Have a better answer than that because that's a part of life. If you are a wife or a husband 
and you're in a relationship and you guys have children, that's your that's your duty, that's your responsibility. But that's not a, that's not you. That is a part of you, but that is not you. That is not your entire being. That's not you. What do you like to do? What makes you happy? That might be a part of it, but that's not the only thing about you. Anywho, y'all know I'll be going off on tangents, so let me get back to this list. I want to get a few more and we're going to end this, okay? Another dating pitfall is that we do not date multiple people. That one is specifically for the women. Um, most men do date multiple people. I will say that I'm on the opposite. I'm putting this one in here, but I will say for me personally, I was not a multiple date ter person. I did do it a lot later on, but it still, it just didn't feel right to me, even though I know that dating is a numbers game. So I'm still putting it in here because it makes sense, right? In reality, it makes sense. It's logical. But for me personally, I didn't do this one, but that, I think that that was another reason why it took me so long to get this thing together because I wasn't out there practicing. So the advice, you know, I'm giving you the advice, but you do what you do because everything that we talk about on these videos, you're not going to take everything into play. You have to take what works for you. So for me personally, dating multiple people didn't work for me, but I know that it is a numbers game. So you should be putting yourself out there. You should not latch on to the very first person that comes to, you know, show you some attention or, you know, tell you how beautiful you are. Okay, that's cool, fine and dandy, but what's next? And most of us don't think about that what's next. We start going with the flow and then all of a sudden we ticked off when things didn't work out right. So just slow down. It's okay. It's all right. Just slow down, down. Again, I'm going to say it again. Go through the process. Go through the journey. Learning yourself. Get those experiences under your belt. So that way when your guy comes, you can really see, you know what? I can see something here. But you can also... Slow it down and just let things unfold. You still want to get to know the real him because truth be told, we all know that the mask be on, that representative be all the way showed up in the beginning. So let the relationship just mature a little bit. Go out on multiple dates. Have multiple conversations about a plethora of things. So many things that you could talk about. Seriously, so many things you could talk about. The last thing that I'm going to touch on is that I kind of talked about it earlier, but I'm going to switch it up just a little bit and let you know that we don't think that this thing is going to work out. So we do not give it our best. We do not give it our all because our mind is already set on it not working out. Again, what you think about most of the time will absolutely come true. So if you're still thinking that this will not work out, at some point, it won't work out. And guess what you're going to be telling yourself? I knew it wasn't going to work out. Change your thinking. Do something different so you can get some different results, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, let's do things a little bit different. From here on out, we're about to go into 2019 already. Can you guys believe that? 2019 is right around the corner. So you want to start getting your life and your love and your mindset all together. So 2019 can be different than it was this year. Different than it was in 2017. Different than it was in 2016. 